Welcome everyone to the February 16th, 2023 video update. Over the past three weeks, we've had the opportunity to welcome everyone back to the plant. This is a good feeling for our members, the local union and the community as a whole. Seeing the parking lots fill up with cars again at the plant is a good sign of things to come for our membership. Over the past two years, when most of our members were on layoff to some degree, many members had the opportunity to attend Pell and health and safety courses at Port Elgin. Some families had the opportunity also to participate in family education program held during the summer months, where you can take your family with you to participate in a one week course at Port Elgin. Everyone that has attended along with their families has always had good things to say about the programs. Members who attend the Port Elgin took a pledge to bring the information back they received and share with our members and become involved in the local union. So with the plant starting back up, now would be an ideal time to keep that promise. Um, the local has many standing committees who are always looking for new members. These committees normally meet before and after general membership meetings, which are held the last Sunday of every month except for July and December. Um, the Community Services Committee is in the process of organizing the annual Easter egg hunt for April 7th, 2023, which is Good Friday. If you would like to volunteer, please reach out to Dave Simmons, the committee chairperson. Other opportunities for volunteering in the community also are available with local service groups and youth sports as most groups are gearing up to start a new season. In, Ingersoll, in the Ingersoll community, there is a group called Stitch Supper Club. Linda Smith, a Unifor Local 8 retiree, Linda is the president and volunteer coordinator for Stitch. This is a great opportunity to volunteer in the community. Also, if you have children uh, in high school, sign them up and bring them along as this is an opportunity for them to earn community service hours towards their high school diploma. Below is the contact information for Stitch Supper Club if you would like to become a volunteer. It's Linda Smith and Linda JJ Smith at sympathical.ca and her phone number is 226-378. 4798. Also, if you are looking to improve your public speaking or just feel more comfortable when speaking at meetings, there will be a Toastmaster information session at the general membership meeting on general on February 26, 2023, here in the boardroom. And in closing, just a reminder: when you are attending Pell and Layoff, your employer is as follows: Unifor National, 115 Gordon Baker Road. Toronto, Ontario, M2H0A8, and the phone number is 1416-718-8425. Thanks, and now over to Mike. Hello, and welcome back, everyone. It's been a long time since many of you have been at the plant. We are faced with a big issue on how to communicate. We will be rotating shifts for the next few months and realize two shifts will be off each week, plus some of you won't be back for months. Please keep checking the website as this is going to be our main source of information for postings and anything else that you might want to know about. I'm going to start with production. Starting next week, our production has been set up for two weeks on and four weeks off for most people. We are going to try and hold that shift uh, rotation regardless of what comes down the line. That way people can now plan their lives, uh, daycare, etc. Um, back in November, we held information meetings at our union hall and there seems to be some confusion as to what I said. I want to make it very clear, you cannot elect to bounce back and forth in and out of work. The top 400 were all given an option. Now as the weeks go by, we believe the company is going to need more help to run. When the vacation bubble up happens, and when the, war when, when the weather warms up, we expect the company to reach out to many of our members and offer them much more work. You may be on two weeks on and four weeks off currently, but we expect more and more people will be needed to run. Many of you may be offered four weeks on and two weeks off. It will depend on the needs and can change every week. If you were not in the top 400 and want more weeks, there's a very good chance that at some point you are going to be here for quite a, bit, quite a few additional weeks. Also, just a reminder, if you are in the top 400 and working every week, by seniority, you can and will be moved out of your department depending on the needs. That's going to start tomorrow already. I think we've got 20-something people already identified ha that have to move out of their department. This will happen every week. Every week we're, go we're going to go down and give people a heads up just so they know where they're going to be. Postings. We have many job vacancies now created due to attrition. 
We've actually had over 100 retirees since January 1st and 12 more scheduled for March 1st. Much of the attrition was planned. However, we continue to get additional attrition each month, creating more openings. We also have many temp stations, and some of those are going to turn into full-time openings once we start running full steam. For all the vacant openings, we have an agreement with CAMI to post all the jobs again. We do not have a time frame as of now on uh, when we're going to post, but we are looking into it. Starting next week, we will begin our first of our six-week rotations, two weeks on, four weeks off. During those six weeks, everybody's back for at least two weeks, and you'll be on your home teams most of the time, and you'll be able to understand your work that much better. Maybe you will find your team is just fine. Maybe you're going to go for a walk and look at other teams and see what the work is like. Um, even though engineers try to make every job fit all sizes, maybe ergonomically you are struggling and can walk around and find teams that might better suit you. We are trying to give everybody the two weeks while you're back to work on your team, learn your team, and realize it's okay, and also at the same time to walk around and check out other jobs in the plant so you're not posting blind and you can see what's out there. After the six-week rotation, we will meet with the company and firm up some timelines on when the jobs will be posted. That might happen in April, but we're going to try and give everybody at least one week's notice before we post the jobs on the website. The team leaders are locked in. Everyone else can post to a new job if you would like. We will keep the postings up also for at least a week. We'll try and post them on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That way they also get the weekend and keep them up over two separate weeks. That way we'll also give lots of notice and that way everybody will understand. Just please keep watching the website for more information. Okay, representation. Starting February 19th, all reps will be back working full time. One rep is going to be assigned to midnights once production is included on that shift. For example, repair, paint monitoring, etc. One rep is going to be assigned to afternoon shifts starting next week as repair are being assigned to that shift. ER asked us for two reps to work full time until the start of second shift on staffing and any staffing issues, any staffing issues that may occur. Ryan Roberts and Mark G have been assigned to that project. The other reps will be on the shop floors on days as well as special projects as they come up. Benefit reps. There's a big change in our benefit rep structure. Going forward, we are going to keep one benefit rep at the union hall on day shift with two benefit reps in the plant. We have almost as many retirees now as we do active members. Some of our retirees are getting older and some are having mobility issues. We also have members on SNA. Some could be on cancer treatments or on crutches or foot casts. And we also have some young members who have some families. So all these people for access, it'd be much easier for them to come to the union hall than going through security up the stairs and for the long walk to find benefits. Um, a, benefit a benefit rep will now be at the union hall on days, making it much more accessible. And if you're a young parent, feel, to free, feel free to bring your babies along. I'm sure our three benefit reps will be more than happy to give you a break and change your dirty diapers and help you in any other way that possible. Vacation scheduling. Trades. Trades will schedule their vacation in the plant the same as they have done for all the past years. Production. As of right now, I have asked two reps to work on the upcoming vacation year scheduling, 2023-2024. So Rob Corbett and Spencer O'Brien are working with the company to try and get that done. We want to make sure everyone understands that we are looking at one option right now that seems to be the lead option. Whether you're laid off or working, it, we are looking at making next year's vacation picks done by computer proxy for everybody. We are working on this and we are working out the bugs, but please remember two shifts are always going to be laid off, plus we have hundreds who will not be back. It would be very tough to chase everybody around, so this way you can just log on. We are working through the system. It'll be pretty easy. There'll be some decisions to make, but then you do a proxy from all, I think it's 47 or 48 weeks in our normal vacation year and pick your selections. As for the current year vacation for production, if you do not book this year's outstanding vacation, the company can put full weeks down into the weeks prior to summer shutdown. Next week will be our first week back when the top couple hundred all return. So there should be lots more staffing around but start looking at the calendar and start booking your vacation because at some point the company by the contract, since we have still have mandated vacation, they can put you, if you have 40 hours, into, into you layoff weeks or down weeks depending what, 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 where you fit. Uh, next topic is WDDS. 
Woodstock and District Developmental, Developmental Services. Um, WDDS provides a service to mentally challenged adults in Woodstock and area. We have been talks with WDDS about possibly hiring a couple of their members to work in our plant. Uh, WDDS have been in our plant for a meet and greet and will be touring around in later March. We would like to take a couple of small portions of work and combine it with jobs that we normally don't perform and find employment for these individuals. We have no set time, but we are looking for hopefully sometime later this summer. WDDS have a number of individuals looking for work, and they will try to find a couple of matches with what an individual is capable of performing compared to what we have to offer. It doesn't necessarily have to be 40 hours. In fact, it won't be 40 hours. We're just going to try and find two individuals and hopefully change their lives a bit and give them a little more financial freedom. We think this is a great initiative for our plant and will really help us become more inclusive. Um, and just so if, in case anyone's wondering, this did come from the union. We're just trying to get more people into our plant that uh, maybe need a sec better chance in life and just uh, help some others out. Um, the year ahead. We have been through a very tough couple of years. A global pandemic turned everything upside down and the effects are still lingering. Most of the, auto, most of the big auto plants took major downtime in 2022 due to semiconductors and parts issues. Some of the Chrysler, Ford, and even some of the GM plants took down up to 20, 25 weeks last year, almost half the year. That time, downtime continues to this day as Osha went down again yesterday. We have not felt any of that because we have been off work due to retooling. The retooling is getting closer to being finished. It was hopeful that we would be two shifts really soon or by now and three shifts by, that, by this summer. But right now that's not gonna happen. We are in the midst of creating the fastest launch in GM history. Not only have we retooled, but we are attempting to bring GM a completely new, new program that has no previous blueprint to lean on or learn from. The playbook is being written every single day. And all the while, we are using brand new technology as we become the first electric manufacturing plant in Canada. I think everyone still expects some speed bumps while we ramp up, but hopefully the worst is behind us. Our orders are strong, we just need parts. We have a great future. It may take us a few months to get there, but in a year's time, we are likely on three shifts and working every Saturday. And we will lead an industry that is getting totally and completely overhauled. And we will usher in a new era of how customers receive their products. And we will regain our spot again as the number one plant in GM's lineup.